This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Um, hi guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to be making a small cube Bluetooth speaker using aluminum and rosewood. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool, so let's get started, shall we? For this project I'm using this Bluetooth wireless speaker, which really makes it super easy for anyone to make a custom speaker. Now I've had this idea lately of combining aluminum and wood in a retro looking design for a speaker, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try out the concept. So obviously aluminum is a pretty soft material and this is one eighth of an inch thick. I want the holes in the cluster in the middle to be as close to each other as possible before actually cutting into the other one. And I'm using a bit that's three thirty seconds of an inch um, and then I want to gradually bring out the, uh, the holes. Uh, that way I want to have as many holes as possible to get as much sound out uh, while looking kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to go really slow because I don't want to break the bit and uh, just take my time with it. Okay, I am pretty happy with this uh, pattern. I think it looks really cool. So now I'm gonna just sand the uh, back side of it and get it nice and smooth before I cut it to size. Uh, so now when the aluminum is done, I want to cut up some wood and I've got some beautiful rose wood to make this box out of. Since the aluminum is an eighth inch thick, I could make the dado to hold it in the box simply by making a shallow cut with a table saw blade. I decided to make mitered cuts, and here I'm using my old crosscut sled, which I added a mitered cut into, and this made it nice and safe to cut these small pieces. Okay, so miters are cut, the aluminum piece is nice and sanded, I just did like a test fit here and it fits really nicely together. Um, so I'm gonna glue up uh, the mitered corners now uh, with the aluminum piece inside. And using masking tape as a clamp when gluing together mitered corners works really great. Next, drilling a hole for the back of the speaker and then cutting the piece to size. Also cutting little blocks for support pieces. Thank you. 
Okay, so the box is complete and now I need to put in the speaker, glue it together and complete the whole thing. And then it was time to put the speaker in. Now this kit makes it incredibly easy for anyone to create a custom Bluetooth speaker. It comes in two parts and you just hook the two together. I mean it really couldn't be any easier. So I'm hot gluing the speaker part to the back of my metal grill. But of course you could also design it to be visible, kind of like the back piece is here instead. Finally, I coat a wax polish to finish the whole thing off. Okay, so here we go. It does have that retro look to it, which I was going for. And to charge it, you just use a 5 volt plug here in the back. So, how does it sound? Well, let's listen to a couple of favorites. Quatre consonnes et trois voyelles, c'est le prénom de Raphaël. We can dance up the water, we can leave your plans to hide. We pull them just behind the bridge, you lays her down. You must leave now, take what you need. So all in all, I think it sounds good, the cube is awesome. I like the pattern on the front grill and it's kind of nice that it's small enough so you can bring it along with you wherever you go. So pretty neat. Now I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me to make these types of projects and share them with you guys. Now I've been using Squarespace for my website where I also sell my wax polishes for years now and their system is super easy to use no matter whether you'd like to have a shop to sell your handmade goods or digital files or whatever or perhaps you'd like to have a website to gather all your projects like a portfolio. Either way, Squarespace has a ton of beautiful templates to use, so it's easy to make a great looking site without having to know any programming or anything like that. Now, they offer 24-7 customer support, and of course their online system to sell products is great. So if you're thinking of making a new site, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash darbenorver to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Sometimes I really enjoy it when you have this idea of something you'd like to create and you don't know if it's going to work out but you just kind of want to try out the concept. In this case I really wanted to see how like creating a pattern on the metal grill and then having the speaker behind that in a really nice box. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!